How to set up a free VPN client on a Raspberry Pi. Update your repository. Install OpenVPN. From your web browser navigate to http colon slash slash moritori.c1.biz Navigate to the apps slash pio vpn client page At the bottom of the page click the download button On the download page click the download button. Navigate to the Raspberry Pi download folder. Right click on the downloaded file and then click Extract to. In the Extract to field, navigate to where you would like the Pi VPN client folder to be placed. Untick the Ensure a Containing Directory option. Click the Extract button. For this demonstration, the free OpenVPN certificates from VPNbook.com have been used. From your web browser, navigate to the OpenVPN certificates page. Download an OpenVPN certificate bundle. Note the current username and password. Navigate to the Raspberry Pi download folder. Right-click on the downloaded file and then click Extract to. In the Extract to field, navigate to the Pi VPN client slash VPN certificates folder. Untick the Ensure a Containing Directory option. Click the Extract button. Let's set up the PIO VPN client .jar file so it will run on double click. You will only need to do this once. Navigate to the PIO VPN client folder. Right-click the PIO VPN client.jar file and then click Open with. Click the Custom Command Line tab. In the command line to execute field, type java space hyphen jar space percent f. In the application name field, type java space executable. Tick the Set Selected Application as Default Action for this file type option. Click the OK button. In future, to open the app, double click the PIO VPN client.jar file or right click and then click Java Executable. Select a certificate from the drop down box. Supply the current username and password for that certificate. Optionally, click the Save button to retain the credentials. Click Connect to connect to the VPN server. Once you see initialization sequence completed, then your connection will be encrypted. To view the details of the steps taken, please use the link in the comments below.
This tutorial was demonstrated using a Raspberry Pi 3B running Raspbian Buster.